Well, here we are at the fifth. Uh, that floor was so gone. That piece of the rocker on panel right here, and the floor. I had to cut it in two pieces to get it out. I went ahead and bought one of those one-piece floors for it. 850 bucks plus shipping. And I'm thinking, hey, that's going to work pretty good. So I've spent all day today cutting out that old floor. Ah, oh, shoot, we ain't got enough light, I don't think. Let's see. There we go, a little bit better. And uh, I'm stuck right here. Drilling, see all those spot welds, spot welds I drilled out, getting that back seat brace out, because it kind of covers up uh, where that new floor goes. That new floor goes up, fits up under that ledge I'm point, I'm aiming at right there. You, maybe if I go over here, you'll see again, right here. So I got to get all that out of the way so I can slide that new floor in there. Meanwhile. You know, the rocker, rocker panels was gone, so I went ahead and just cut them out. A lot of people will brace this up. They'll brace that body up, but I'm thinking, why do that? Because, you know, when I put that new floor in, if I mount, get this mounted in the right place, and get this mounted back here where it goes, and of course it gets bolted down uh, to the frame, I'm going to have to pull that body, I'm going to have to pull that body in to meet it anyway. So, I don't see the need in that. So, what I'll do is get that floor welded in right here, and in the back here, tacked in the middle, center, and start pulling everything to it, and then checking my doors and stuff, and getting them right. So, that's the uh, Kenny's Rat Rod 57 build.